OK, so here we are at the Linux Mint logon menu. So I just type in my username and password. The first time when you log in, you'll find that this dialog box is displayed. It helpfully gives you various options to get to know the operating system. So, for example, you can click on this user guide and you can just click OK. And in fact, don't need this box. And here we are in the official um, Linux Mint documentation and you can read your way through there if you would like to familiarize yourself with the operating system before you start using it. I'm just going to exit this. As in most operating systems, you can move your windows around. You can just pick them up at the corner and resize them to whatever size you like. You can obviously maximize them, you can minimize them, click them back up and click the X in the corner in order to close them. And when you've done with looking through the documentation, all you do is click on this close icon here. If you click this option off, then the dialog box will not be shown in future. OK, so as you can see, the desktop looks quite basic at the moment got just two icons on the screen, very similar. Both invoke the file manager. So double click on the icon to bring up the file manager. Very similar to other file managers, um, just click on the directory in order to navigate down into it. So in this case this is an empty directory. If I right click here I can create a new blank file and I can type in its file name Let's call it my file. And there it is. And if I right click it again, I can open it with the text editor and type in a little bit of text. And choose the save option. If I want to access this file quickly from the desktop, I can just drag it across and drop it onto the desktop and it appears magically down here. Then next time I double click this icon, it'll just open the file I created. Computer icon is very similar. Again, it opens a file manager window. I click this one down, but this time it's up at the top level and not under my uh, user. So slight duplication there. Okay, and if I want to uh, delete the file, I can just Right click it and choose delete. And I can say yes. And it'll go. If I want to retrieve the file again, I can go back in here, check in the rubbish, and here it is. I can just restore it then. Okay. And it'll come back onto the desktop. Most of your interaction with Linux Mint will be from this bottom panel here. And one of the good things about Mint is that uh, it comes pre-installed with a lot of applications already on the system, so you don't have to do it. So if you click down on this kind of cog wheel in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll get access to the main menu. So each of these options will give you a sub-menu of here. Hopefully you can see that. You can see some of the applications that it comes um, pre-installed with. So file manager, calculator, image viewer, um, terminal, manage print jobs, take screenshots. Um, it also comes with full um, flash support. Um, things like GIMP is already loaded for editing your images, Firefox, Gwibber for social media, um, Pigeon for your chat and another chat application called IRC. On the office front, you've got Abbey Word, um, PDF Viewer, which we saw earlier. And uh, this is a spreadsheet application, G Numeric. Um, I'll just have a quick look down the system here and you can see the sort of things that are already installed. This preferences one is sometimes useful if you want to change the way your system is interacting. Uh, the default is pretty good, but if you actually want to change something like um, 
the look and feel of the system you can click on this option and then you've got a number of predefined looks that you can select from for example like that one and and if you can't find one that that suits your needs you can uh, click this box and customize the colors the way the uh, icons look how your uh, mouse pointer looks and other things on here so I'm just going to stick with this predefined option here Shiki Wise LXDE click on the apply button okay and it changes the look and feel for me I just click close here so you notice now menus look slightly different stand out a little bit more and this panel is a, is a darker grey so it's a slightly different look and feel um, what else have we got after the preferences? We've got Software Manager. That's quite an important one. So this is where you install or remove your applications from. Very, very much like the Ubuntu software installer on which it's based. So you've got different categories here or you can search down here. So if we want sound and video we can navigate down into here and look through here for the application we want. For instance this Banshee rhythm box etc so if you want to install Banshee we can click on Banshee gives you some useful blurb about the applications and um, the ratings that previous users have given it if you want to install it just click on the install icon and it will whir away and install it for you from the web what else have we got down here we've got the terminal so if you actually want to drop to the command line and type in a particular command for example listing the files in the directory you can do so finally you can run uh, applications straight from a little dialog box without dropping to the command line but that's not really that useful um, there is a further bottom option here log out and we'll come to that a little bit later this icon here at the bottom next to the main menu is the Iconify button. So if you've got any windows open, let's open one here. Open one there. If you click on this button, it'll automatically just minimize them all back to this taskbar. Okay, you just have to manually maximize them again when you want them. But it's a good way of getting back to the desktop if you've got too many windows open. On the right hand side of the taskbar are a number of options here such as your network status um, I think this is the software system updater here there's the volume of the system so you can change the system volume and finally you can't actually see it in this theme very well but there's a, a calendar for this month and then you just click back on here to remove the calendar so when you're finished playing with Linux Mint all you need to do is click down on the cog again choose the logout option and helpfully uh, Mint allows you to shut the machine straight down from a session unlike Fedora where you have to log out of your session before you can actually do a shutdown um, or you can do a reboot, a suspend, so pop it into power save state until you're ready to use it again log out the system or just cancel back to desktop obviously if you made a mistake in this case I'm just going to choose the logout option and here we are back at the login screen.